Peace and blessings. I'm Hood Rays, spoken word artist from Chicago. Um, I'm about to present a piece called Broken. Um, it's telling the story about how growing up I lost my self esteem and almost succumbed to depression due to some of the things that uh, I've encountered through my relationships and how the men in my life, the my father, my uncles, my big brothers, uh, all played a part in helping me get that back. I hope you understand and I hope you enjoy. Salute. Look into my eyes and tell me what it is you see. As men, we are built off pride, but most are broken just like me. She, she, and she broke him. Then blamed him for being broken. No a man should be upstanding. She did all she could to make bro bend. Never liked him or his kind, so she just go in. Degrading his character and his skin like there's no kin. Insisted coming up short would be the bro's only trend, so his battle is constant with her and with life, so there's no win. He tried to overlook it. Knowing his emotional balance was absent and she was the one who took it. Being fired at by her and her counterparts because they simply mistook it as a man drowning in his own iniquity. No empathy. Manhood equals canine tendency. That's how they summarize it with their simplicity. Falsified imagery depicts men to be nothing more than sin waiting to happen. And it's a rarity to find someone who's willing to try to understand his actions. Like, what if he wanted to love? But never knew how. What if it was him who was mentally abused as a child? Would you realize the concept of love could never compute only corrupted new files? Would you realize attempting to love a man like this is nearly futile? So do you blame him? Or she who trained him? Can you recognize that loneliness claimed him? Then enslaved him. So he never experienced the heart of a woman with genuine love engraved in. Instead, he was saved by these brave men who came in and weren't afraid to get their hands dirty for their family like cavemen. A genuine manly presence was there to counteract any lack or need. Not the typical stereotype where you'll see a man but subtract his seed. Dad instilled in me from birth a certain act to lead. In fact, it was the maternal act that was absentee. That's why you get wisecracks from me when you try to downplay a man's daily plight. In search for understanding, it shouldn't have to be a daily fight. I make myself a little more transparent daily like, hey, look at me. These are my faults. I scream this into the ears of queendom, hope for better results. Only to be met with confrontational attitudes like, yeah, you just a jerk by default. In other words, I wasn't affected by the absence of my mother. I was never lied to or betrayed by my chosen lovers. And I wasn't taught by a molester to lust first, then push love aside. And I guess the only woman who loved me without trying to change me did commit suicide. I guess a genuine connection is just too difficult for me to see. So in the end, just blame me. <laughs> but nah, it was she. She and she who broke him. Then blamed him for being broken. No man should be upstanding. She did all she could to make bro bend. Never liked him or his kind, so she just go in. Degrading his character and his skin like there's no kin. Insisted coming up short be the bro's only chance. So his battle is constant with her and with life. So there's no win. So in the end, look into my eyes and tell me what it is you see. As men, we are built off pride, but most are broken, just like me. But it's never too late to overcome the things that have been laid in front of you.